Hey everyone, it's Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. How are you? I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I hope your week is going well. If you're new to the channel, hi. I hope you will enjoy my content and you'll consider subscribing. And if you've been back before, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. Today we have an unboxing from DIY Moon Shop or Dye Moon Shop, however you would like to pronounce it. And this is very, very much overdue. Um, I wanted to get this up yesterday because you guys know how much I love doing my Down Moon Shop unboxings on Monday. What a great way to start the week. But um, things have been kind of crazy in the house and I wasn't able to get to it um, last week. Levi had some health issues and I ended up having to take him to the um, pet ER. And we do have a follow up tomorrow, which will be today when you guys see this video. I'm filming this Monday. Um, and I will update you guys all in my next moving chat on how he's doing. Right now he's fine, but he does have on a cone. Um, he can't fit through the doggy door, so there's a lot of me having to take him in and out. Um, and I do believe he has to go out, so I'm, I apologize. Hold on. All right, I'm back. Um, yeah, and of course, Lucifer is sick. <laughs> he has a cold. Um, never fails. Anyway, you guys did not hear. You did, guys didn't come here to see that. Um, you came to see these unboxings. Uh, I have bought these back in... Um, December or January, I believe January. Um, in fact, I have my sheet right here. It should say, no, it doesn't say, I didn't print that. Oh yeah, it shipped in January. So I must have ordered these in December when they had their 50% off winter sale. And so I got four kits. Um, speaking of their sales, you guys, go check out uh, their website, which will be linked below, as well as all these kits. And if you go up to the top to the coupon section, there are tons of different coupons. There's a 50% off first-time buyers. There's a 30% off on two different collections. Um, always check. They're have, starting to have some really, really amazing sales that definitely help out with the price point because it is a little on the high side. However... Dale Moon Shop legally licenses all of their art, meaning that their artists are fairly compensated um, for their hard work and their beautiful art. So let us get into it. Um, let me just pick which one I want to do. Okay, we can do this one first. Now, you guys know I like to uh, switch things up a little bit on you. So... Um, I think you're really gonna enjoy these kits and you'll be a little surprised. So this first one is called Frank Frankie by Lolila, yeah, Leoba, sorry, Bruckner. And maybe if I turned it right, so we did. It's a 50 by 70 round diamond painting kit right there. Um, it does have a little, you know, sticker. It is a little small, so it might be kind of hard to see, but you guys will see it momentarily. So I did get this one for $44 because it was with the 50% off sale. So this is um, their box. I really love their branded box. Now, um, prior to them having a box, um, they did have um, these really, really pretty specialty wrapped um, kits. They were like a present. They were so, so much fun. But I will have to say that I do enjoy the box and how much um, it's easier to store them. So, here is our first one. Now, they all come in a dust bag right here. Okay, so, and of course the dust bag is taped. And of course I ripped part of it, I sure did. Oh, it's doubled, that's why. So I'm probably just gonna take those off because I'll never get them back on again. So their canvases are very, very soft, almost like a um, short lint. This is a landscape. They do have scalped and poked edges, which I will show you in a second. Oh. We have our drills. Lucifer, 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 get down. But before we get into that, um, I thought I said no toolkit, but I guess I didn't. So here is your toolkit that you will receive. You will get a white bow, a squishy, a diamond painting pen with a thick three placer and a thick six placer right here, a pair of tweezers, some uh, a plate of wax, and then you'll get a little pot of wax right here. So a very nice toolkit, everything you need, and then some to diamond paint. Here are, oh my God, look at that big old bag of white. 
Now here are our drills. It is around. And here is our legend, which I will pull out for you to see. Now I know a lot of people are not team baggy, and that's okay. And I'm gonna show you why. So I do want to say each bag does come with the DMC on it like that, but it doesn't have the kit number, but that's a great uh, thing about having this legend is it will tell you. So here is a close up right here. I thought she was really, really cool and edgy. And of course the cat. So here's our legend. You can go ahead, trim it down here and even the, the, the amount of drills. And you can just run this portion through your Xyron sticker maker and you make, can make labels for your containers. This has 37 colors. And does this one come with an AB? It does. So it comes with one AB. Now the good thing, uh, one of the good things that they do is that they include both the regular drill and then they include an AB version of it or something very, very close. So that way you can choose which one you would prefer to use and they'll give you the symbol. Now I will say this is a little small. So uh, for me, I kind of have to have the light on. Speaking of that, it is getting dark in here. So I am gonna turn my overhead light on. I was trying to, there you go. I was trying to film, you know, but that didn't. That didn't happen. So hopefully there won't be too much glare. But anyway, there's a better picture. I thought she was so, so cool. So we will come back to these in a second. I'm gonna fold this up. I haven't done, it's been a little bit, so I'm kinda a little rusty. Not too, too bad though, but I am gonna put my drills over here so we can look at this amazing painting. All right. Here we go. Now let me put this to the side. Hopefully it won't be a, too much of an eyesore. Look at her. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? I love her outfit. I love the roses. I love the cats. Um, she's so edgy. She's got her tattoos right here. Um, I thought she's just really, really pretty. I mean, this has got a very nice... Um, combination that we've got large the entire background is all one color so there's a lot of color blocking here there's a mixture of some confetti color blocking and what confetti color blocking is is um you know a little not this huge amount of sections but larger sections where you can use your multi-placers and then on here we do have some confetti confetti in the flowers not too bad on this one uh confetti in her hair but I've come to accept the fact that with confetti, you have an amazing image. Now, here is the one thing that I love about their canvas, besides that it's got scalped and poked edges, it does have a side, the legend is over here on the side. So if you choose to work like this, everything is right there. But even if you have to turn your canvas around, you can always use your other legend. We do have our thumbnail right here with the name Frankie by Leoba Bruckner, the size and the kit number right here. So even though it says that there are 37 colors, technically there are 36. So let me go grab that AB, see if I can find it. So 309, normally they're like right next to each other but they're also in order, so here we go. So this is the AB, so here is 309, but here is the AB that they give you to um, replace it with, if, if I maybe if I put it in camera. So it is a little bit lighter, but there is no 309 AB that I know of. I could be wrong, if I'm wrong, put it down. And wherever the symbol is, um, is the symbol E, so we'll just go through here and you can choose to use this or this, or you could mix them up. Hold on, Levi wants to come in. Alrighty, sorry about that, you guys. And you probably will be able to hear him panting until he goes and lays down. But anyway, like I was saying, it's the symbol E. So you could also maybe mix the two of them up and sprinkle it through, or you could just choose to use the AB or 
really whatever you want to do or you could choose not to use the AB at all now I did not get special treatment with any of these kits I don't think well I did order drills but for one we're going to see but I didn't actually request special treatment so it is the symbol E so right here in the rows there's going to be some E so really in the roses that's where the E is um there is some in her lips right here and that is about it so not very much um me personally I do not feel like this kit um, would really need a lot of ABs. There's, to me, just the way the artwork is and the way that it's rendered, um, I think it is perfect the way that it is. So maybe just throw a little bit like they have for the roses and that would be it. Now I am very interested to see how her necklace is going to turn out. Um, I hope that it looks like a necklace. Um, I'm sure it's supposed to be very, very thin. So we will have to wait and see on that one. Uh, Levi's now drinking some water, so I do apologize for that. But overall, I'm really excited about this image. Um, she's just super, super cool to me. So we are going to wrap her up real quick and get out the next kit. So I hope you guys are keeping track and paying attention because I want to know out of these four, which one is your favorite? Um, because they're all so different, so it actually might be um, a little difficult to pick. All right. Now, this next one is by one, not my favorite by, but one of my favorite artists that is licensed with DIY Moon Shop or DIY Moon Shop. I have quite a few of her kits, and one of our wonderful crafters in our community, Rectify, he has completed this one. I don't know how I feel about this plastic dust bag like this, but that's all right. He's actually completed this one, and I was super excited to see this. Um, it's a little on the darker side. Um, and, of course, I didn't even tell you uh, what it was, but I will tell you what size it is. This is a 50 by 64 round, so it's a little smaller. I'm trying to go for more manageable pieces. I have seen the renderings of some of the smaller pieces, and they do look very, very nice. So that um, got me over my fear of going smaller with this company. All right, are you guys ready? This is Lady Death by Leilani Joy. And there's only 16 colors in this, you guys. And, and one AB. And I think it's going to be perfect. And here she is. Now, I know some of you might be saying, oh, this color palette. This color palette. Well, it's Lady Death, you guys. So I love... She's like the Grim Reaper's wife. She has... Um, her own, I always forget the heck that thing is called. I know it begins with an S. Let me know in the comments what it is. It's driving me crazy. We have our crow in the background. Her nails are done. Her nails are on point. She's got her necklace. There's another crow over here. And of course, I could just put a bunch of air in here. But yeah, you guys. So anyway, she, this one, let me get my little sheet to let you know. Um, this one originally 78, I got her 50% off for $39. Fantastic deal, you guys. Okay. Oh my God, do you guys see how much air I got in here? So this is her, I mean, I think that this, for this image right here, I think that this is a great size. I think it's gonna look just amazing. So here are our drills. So yes, it is not the most amazing color palette. Uh, for some, this might be very, very boring and mundane because there are no bright colors. But like I said, this is Lady Death, you guys. Come on. Um, there is a lot of confetti in her. A lot. But I noticed um, right here and then gradually do have some nice color blocking here and here and in the moon. 
So that is where our ABs are, you guys, in that moon. So let me get out the legend to show you. Just like that. And then we have our white, our 5200 AB right there. Very, very cool. And let me just grab that since I have the bag open. And just like the kit prior, we have our AB 5200 and um, the regular white. That will be symbol H right there. And you guys, that's just all in the moon and then it's sprinkled on the blade right here. So it's just got that little, little hint. Um, but these are a lot of like these grayish greens and blue, grayish, more on the grayish blue side, the big old bag of 932. There's no 310 in this kit either. Look at that, 823. So I really think that this is going to look really nice. Oh, we do have a little bit of a brighter green. We do have some 955. So, thank you, Levi. So what do you guys think of her? She's definitely different. But I do love a lot of Leilani's voice art. I do have a bunch of it. So... This would be great for drills and chills. It'd be great to do at the, I know there's a ha halfway to Halloween event in June. Um, I like the fact that she's like Lady Death, she's kind of got that uh, Day of the Dead look to her with her makeup, the sugar skull a little bit just way, the nose is, it's more skull-like, and the um, very um, deliberate, sculpting on the side and then her dark eyes it looks like we do have a little tear of some sort right there and then it looks like she also has um some flowers like um, a flowered wreath on the back of her and her long flowing hair so what do you guys think of her i never showed you guys i'm so sorry i'm so rude this one's more manageable but the drill field is very very clear I just really, really love the look on her face. So yeah, you guys, if you had not seen it, you can go check it out on uh, Raxify's Instagram page. And I'm going to go ahead and link his Instagram below so you can go check him out. He is amazing. He knocks these diamond paintings out of the park. He accessorizes. He does progress updates. I'm trying to convince him to do a channel, as I'm sure um, many others have been doing as well. But I don't think he's down for that. All right, what's up next, you guys? What's up next? No, I already did this one. Okay, next is by one of, like probably my favorite artist that is licensed with DIY, DIY Moon Shop. And that is, no, oops, oops, I just my back, dang it. That is none other than Medusa the doll maker. Um, I was over the moon when I saw this image. Um, I actually, I think I saw it on her her website, or I saw it on um, one of the t-shirt places where Medusa the doll maker's art is licensed. Because I do have the same image on a t-shirt, so I did send it to DIY Me Shop, and when. Um, I found out that it was being turned into a diamond painting. I was super, super excited, and I kind of felt like, ooh, well, maybe I had um, something, you know, maybe a little something to do with that. Probably not, but it makes me feel better. Um, here's another toolkit. Here are our colors. So now we've got some mauves and greens and pinks, browns, whites, creams. And I'm just super excited. Are you guys ready to see this? This is Medusa by none other than Medusa, the doll maker. I am so excited about this one. I just am. I just dropped my notes right here on the floor. So just give me two seconds. Oh, goodness. Now, she was $88. Originally 50% off, I got for 44. You guys, this has the same uh, vibe and rendering like 
style as as you wish and i got that a while ago i snatched it up and got it in the biggest size and i'll go ahead and put that video um down in the description if you had missed that as well i need to not play with that so yeah i will go ahead and put that down in case you had missed that one um i love the fact that her signature is down here in the corner it's just got that beautiful style of how she does everything. There are 36 colors in here. Well, technically 35. Our AB is going to be that light, a very the 211. So I'm excited about that because it's just got this. Oh, I'm so in love with this one. Let me show you guys the drills. All right, so here's our legend right here. You know, and you can just cut this out and tape this into your logbook. Right there. You know, we've got 154, that really gorgeous color. So here's the 211 right here, the, nor the regular drill. And then right up here is the 211. So not very much, but again, I don't feel as though this one needs very much, but I do need to show you this huge bag of 5,200. Now, I don't feel like this needs a ton of ABs, but I did think about um, mixing in white AB with the regular AB for the background, just to give it just a little bit of sparkle. So please uh, let me know in the comments what you think about that. And what, definitely when it comes down to it, I will um, take a poll. If I, I haven't really gotten any feedback, because it might be a while until I get to this. That's all the 310 that's in there. But, you know, we do have these, also these greens, three grayish greens right here. Which I absolutely love. When you throw that on top of it, I mean, that's going to be absolutely stunning. So let's see where this 211 goes. That is going to be number five. And on there, they most, all of their um, legends are alphanumeric to contain uppercase and lowercase letters. So this is going to be the number five. Um, hopefully I can find it because it is that mauve color. So I'm not quite sure where it will be. Because there's also an, is there, there's also an S in here. But they're two different colors, so I should be okay. Um, I'm not going to waste a lot of time trying to find it, but I'm sure wherever it is, it's going to be incredibly stunning and very, very subtle. So I will bring this up a little closer. I think this is a perfect size also. Sometimes I forget and I, my brain is so used to just having these big, massive canvases that when I hear a 50 by 67, I'm like, oh, really? But honestly, it's absolutely stunning. And I think it's going to turn out absolutely perfect. I love the little beauty mark under her eye as well. So let me throw these ABs back in here after they just had it so lovely and I just messed it all up. throw my little legend back in here so I do not lose it and then I won't know what drills or what. I mean, I guess I could also label. All right, so that is Medusa by none other than Medusa the Dollmaker, my favorite artist that is licensed with this company. So away she goes. Have you guys decided what your favorite one is yet? Have you made up your mind? Are you still trying to figure out my eclectic collection and taste? Because right when you think, you're like, oh, Marina would, wouldn't like this, boom, it's in a video. All right, so now this next one uh, really is different. It's a landscape. I know, I know, I know. Um, this one really, really spoke to me. Um, so... I grew up, I'm not going to bore you guys with too much um, family history and talking because this is an unboxing. So I grew up um, my entire life being told that I was three-quarters Italian and a quarter English, right? 
And so then, like, Christmas of 2018, um, my dad got us all these DNA kits. Well, I was very reluctant to do mine because I was like, no, no, no. Plus, I had to listen to my mom complain because her entire life she was told that she was 100% Italian, right? No ifs, ands, or buts. She did this. She did hers and found out that she is um, more Greek than Italian. And my mom's maiden name is DeAngelis. So I had to listen to her. All this time, just go on and on and on and on, right? And I'm going to go on and on and on because I can't get this ding down. There, plastic off. All right. So my dad just kept on me and on me and on me and on and on and on. So finally, I'm like, Bella, we need to do this, okay? We just really, really need to do this because Papa um, really wants us to do this. So to my surprise, um, because my sister and I were born with... Um, was called a mongo spot, which is like a bruise, usually on the lower back, the thigh, or your bottom, right? And it means that you have some sort of uh, Western Asian in you. Well, this is what my dad told me. However, I told him though, and after looking further in to my results, yes, I am Greek and Italian, but I'm also North African like Morocco. And almost a quarter Western Asian. Not where my dad had thought of Mongolia. Like that type of stuff. More like Iran and that area. So I was like, oh my God, that is just so, so cool, right? For the last, since the beginning of the year, I've been trying to teach myself Arabic. It's not really working out uh, too well for me. Um, I've come up with another way um, where I think I'm going to te try to teach myself. And it's the same way I taught myself how to do statistics. And I'm going to literally have to write everything down while I practice on my Duolingo. Well, anyway, enough of all of this. This is Kaba by Amina Ali. I think I pronounced her first name right. It's A-M-I-N-A. A-M-I-N, yes. This is a 50 by 70 round diamond painting. And it was... $88 and I got it for 44 So, and any of my friends that are Arabic or Muslim, if I make a mistake, please correct me, especially on my pronunciation because I am trying very, very hard. So the Kaaba, or um, which translates into um, the cube, I do know that. Uh, and it's also sometimes referred to al Kaaba, and I'm not even gonna... Um, Try to pronounce uh, the other pronunciation because I'm going to mess it up. But anyway, it's a religious structure at the center of Islam's most important mosque, the Masij al-Haram in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. I've also been to Saudi Arabia, but I didn't get to enjoy any of it because I was stuck on base um, at that time. So it is considered by Muslims to be the Bayat Allah, so which means... I probably did not say that right, but um, it literally translates into House of God and is, and is the Qibla, Qibla ugh, direction of prayer for Muslims around the world when performing Salah. Um, the current structure was built after the original building was damaged during a fire in the siege of Mecca by the Umads in... 683, so a long, long time ago. So anyway, if you pull pull up uh, the Kaaba, you will see it, and it looks, it's, there's so many amazing artworks. And so when I saw this, I was blown away. It was just so breathtaking to me. Um, I am not religious. I am very much more spiritual. However, I do respect everybody's um, right to practice and to believe what they believe. Um, because I all I feel like all of us can get along. It's when people start pushing their beliefs onto others, yada yada yada. Anyway, so here it is. I just I have been to many many mosques uh, throughout my travels with the Navy, um, Dubai, Turkey. Um, I did not go in Bahrain, 
But, um, and I did cover my hair and did wear long sleeves and of course long pants. So um, this one has 39 colors or technically 38 and AB775 is in here and you guys, here it is. Look at it. This is going to be so stunning. I just, so let's, let me pull this out. Um, I'm sorry if I went winded, but I feel like there was a story behind this that I really, really wanted to share on why that I got this one. Um, okay, so here is our thumbnail picture right there. So these are supposed to be people, and I know it's like more of a watercolory look. Look at the clouds. I'm like dying. Um, any of my friends that speak Arabic? Can you please help me and let me know what that says up there? Um, because I do not know. Or what it symbolizes. Um, I'm hoping that the people down here, it does give like a watercolor effect. Um, there's a lot of confetti in here, so I'm hoping it will stand out. I know that they're not supposed to be picture clear, but hopefully picture perfect clear. But I am hoping that it does give kind of like this watercolor effect. So here is the, oh my God, you guys, first of all, 964. Oh my God, that's going to be so smooth. So look at this huge bag of 775. And that symbol, it's going to be the letter D. So that is going to be Did I say D? Is it D? It is D. So obviously it's going to be in the sky. Yes, it is. There's going to be quite a bit of it. So I'm not sure if I'm just going to opt out or if I'm just going to mix them all together. Um, part of me feels like I'm going to just use these instead to make that sky just shine very, very, very bright. Um, I mean, look at these colors, you guys. So besides all the gorgeous blues that are in here, right? We do have um, some darker colors. I do not believe, no, there's no 310 at all. But there's also beiges and reds and this stunning purple which I need to find for you. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. What is this last color? Sorry, guys. Give me a second. Okay, here we go. So we've got this. Neo's beating up on his sister and brother. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. 550. So, but I wanted to show you. So I did get one color because I think this is going to look, 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 look absolutely stunning. I ordered this separately. Like, I, meaning I didn't get special treatment. I just ordered this. And I got a big two bags of old gold because the old gold with that 550 all up on the building right here and putting this all really in old gold, I think is going to look amazing. Um, I hope it will. Let me know your thoughts on here. All right, so let me just pick up my mess right here. My cat, look at this, I've got all these drills. We, I, you guys can't see it, so you can't really tell. Ooh, I wanna show, look, that orange is gonna look amazing, that 720. I am so excited about all of that big old bag of ABs too. Um, tell me what you guys think. Like, I am just super, super, super excited about this one. Um, it just was really breathtaking when I saw it and I cannot wait to see it get done. I have never seen um, anybody work on this one. So I am really, really excited. All right, so you guys, that is it for me. So we have Kaba by Amina Ali, which is a 50 by 70 centimeter round diamond painting. 
I will look at it. What do you think? We also have Medusa by Medusa the Doll Maker, also a round. That's Lucifer on the cellophane. I apologize, you guys. Let me just put this back in the box. We have Frankie by Leoba Bruckner. And then we have Lady Death by Leon Joy. So you guys, that is it. Thank you for hanging out with me for this longer than usual video. And don't forget to leave me a comment. I enjoy interacting with you guys as well as don't forget to like, subscribe, and share and all that fun stuff. So I hope you have a fabulous rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.